Hello everyone, this is Paulina from Pencil Spaces with Kiara, and today we will be showing you how to use breakout rooms in Pencil Spaces. What are breakout rooms in Pencil Spaces? The best way to describe them would be a space within a space. If you use breakout rooms in Zoom or Google Meet, the idea is relatively similar, except that in Pencil Spaces, you can have different boards within breakout rooms as well. In order to manage the breakout rooms, you have to be a host or an owner of a space. To access breakout rooms, you have to go to view boards on the top left corner. And then from there, you'll see that you're in the main room. To look at your other breakout rooms, click the two arrows that say manage breakout rooms when you hover over them. From there, you'll be redirected to your list of rooms. So as you can see, I have my main room that I am currently a part of, and it has six participants. To create a new room, I just click manage at the top right corner, and then I can click create new room. You could rename your rooms to anything you'd like. For example, if you are using breakout rooms to have students work on a group project or to have specific teams working together, you could rename this to Project 1 Group 2. And you could create multiple rooms as well. In this case, I will create two rooms. So now that I've created my rooms, I can move participants between rooms. So in this case, I'm going to move a few of my participants to my first room, and I'll move a few others to my group one room. I'm going to move Kiara into a different room, and then once I save my changes, I can just click apply. And now all of my participants have been moved between rooms. So this is my perspective of being asked to move to a breakout room. I will either automatically be moved within that time frame or I can join myself. So once I've joined the breakout room, I will be asked to join the call. So while Kiara is in a different room, you could see that when I exit my rooms view, you could see that she's no longer in the call with me. She's currently in a different room. You could also see at the top left corner that in addition to having the name of my space, you also get the name of the room and the name of the board. Let's join another room to see the experience. So in this case, I'll join group one with Kiara in it. I can join Kiara's call within group one. And you could see that within the boards list, there is a different set of boards created. This means that every single set of participants in a different room get a different set of boards as well. As I mentioned earlier, when you look at the top right corner, you can now see the name of the space, the name of the room, and the board. Here you could see that it says Project 1 Group 1 instead of our main room. If I click on the name of the room I'm in, I have the option to rename the room or switch rooms as a host. Keep in mind that your participants cannot move between rooms on their own, but the host can. Now let's move back to our main room. I could just click on the name of the room and then click switch rooms. From the here, I can select the main room and click join. And now you can see that I've gone into the main room. Another thing to note is that when you join a room, you have to start a call. So now that I've started a call in the main room once again, I can bring Kiara back into this room. I'll just go back to my manage breakout rooms page and I'll move Kiara over here and I'll click apply. And now you can see that Kiara has joined the main room and she'll be able to join the call as well. So here is my perspective as a student being asked to move back to the main room. Once again, I can either join by myself or wait until the time subsides. To delete a room, just go to the page where you can manage your breakout rooms. 
click manage at the top right corner and then you have the ability to click the three dots next to the join button to delete a specific room. Before you delete a room, make sure that you move all other participants to the main room or to a different room before completing this step. So I'm just going to click the red delete room button. And now I only have two rooms in this space. Alternatively, if you do not remove the participants from the room before deleting it, everyone in that room will automatically move back to the main room. So now that I've deleted this room, I'm going to click apply and then click done. To go back to my call, just click the arrow to go back. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial on how to use breakout rooms and pencil spaces. You can reach us at any time by clicking the help button at the top right corner and sending us a message. We'll make sure to respond in under two minutes. You could also see any of our guides and help articles in this page. And if you have any other questions, you can email us at support at pencilspaces.com. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our newest features. Thank you for watching.